Hello and welcome to Aeron! I don't exactly know how to pronounce this game, but when you start it up, this is where it drops you off, so I guess this is what we're rocking with. Apparently this game is compatible with an Xbox 360 controller plugged into the PC. Uh, this is a Steam game, but every time I tried that, my game crashed, so I'm rocking the keyboard right now. All I know is we can move, we can press down to crouch, and yes, I know my guy is extremely, extremely tiny. But yeah, left to right to move, uh, down to crouch, up to look up, and we can also press shift to like shift dimensional planes. So I guess that is the gimmick of this game. I don't know if we can like sprint or anything or if we just have to walk incredibly slow, but I guess we're starting things off with a little bit of a credits roll. And I see some, I, I think that's supposed to be a giant waterfall. So we're gonna try to walk past that. If I can move a little bit more quickly, that'd be fantastic. But I guess we're just gonna tiptoe our way over here through this very slow credit roll. But this is supposed to be a 2D platformer. We played a puzzle game yesterday, so I'm going back to platformers, guys. It's just, they're my favorite. I love platformers, 2D platformers, 3D platformers, whatever it might be. So whenever I spot these on Steam, I try to play them because I, I just think they're fun. And this game was pretty cheap as well. I think it was, uh, it's supposed to be $2. At the time that I bought it, it was $1.50 because it was on sale. But yeah, that's, that's a pretty cheap game. Let's just hope that it's not uh, too terrible. The reviews for it were pretty mixed. Maybe they were complaining because it takes 10 minutes to walk to the side here. I'm trying all the different buttons and nothing seems to do anything, so... I don't know if there's any way to actually speed this up. Oh my gosh! Okay, I pressed backspace and that started me over. Gosh dang it, hold on. Just gonna make this very slow walk a second time. Oh my gosh! Well, just as we got to that point, we can suddenly finally walk at a respectable speed. So left control or X, I don't know what that does. Uh... I guess that makes us run faster. Space is the jump. Okay, the music's kicking in. We finally have some control over our character. Let's go! So we do have to use this, like, jump and shift thing to switch between different dimensions, which is pretty awesome. I actually think that's a really cool game mechanic. So we just have to press it to go one way and then let go to go the other way. So that's going to be interesting to manage here. I'm kind of digging this music. We got some chiptune action going on right now. I think this is supposed to be a, a really hard platformer, so pretty easy right now, but you can already see how this is... Potentially going to get pretty crazy, so we'll, we'll see how long this is. I'm guessing it's going to be a pretty short game, considering it's only $2. Oh, we got a ladder right here. Let's drop down. Oh my gosh! Let's drop down one at a time here. Uh, there we go. Let's go over... Actually, we can just drop down safely. Let's go over this way. And die immediately. Fantastic. Let's try that one again. Just drop one at a time. I guess if you drop too far, you just take fall damage and die. Uh, do these rocks do anything? Oh, they're like warp stones. Okay. So we have to keep those in mind as well. So we got jumping... We also have warp stones. So some pretty cool mechanics right off the start. I like that because there's so many platformers. Whoops. There's so many platformers out nowadays. So it's cool to see some different mechanics here. All right, going down. There we go. Okay, this time I'm going to... What happened last time is there's the one right below me. I tried to go to the side while also going to the one on the left at the same time. So I ended up at some weird midpoint. Okay, so I guess you hit the warp... Oh, it got dark right there. Oh, okay. I guess it's a new screen. We yeah, have the warp stones take a second to transition so you can kind of... Do the phase change while you're uh, teleporting. So in this phase, the enemies are not present. Oh my gosh, I'm so bad. I am so bad. But in the uh, one phase, the enemies are not present, so I can safely go that way. Now this one, the enemy's not present during that phase, but neither is the platform. Uh, oh my gosh. I'm of course making the assumption that those ball things will kill me, but I mean, it looks like they would, right? So I think what I have to do is like jump and then shift. And then, oh, unshift at the other side. I That's all I can think to do. I, I guess let's take one round just to test out. Do these things even harm you? Okay, they don't actually. They just, like, they get in your way, but they don't actually straight up kill you. So that's actually pretty good information. Right, so we can pretty safely, oh my gosh, maybe not so safely. Oh, I guess if we're inside them when we warp shift, they actually get killed. So we actually can kill enemies. Oh my gosh, the, uh, the platforming can be really precise. And it's kind of hard to tell what part of the platform you can actually jump off of, so that'll take some getting used to. Let's try this again. Phase change, kill him! Oh yeah! Alright, here we go! Got a phase change! Oh my gosh, dude, it's so hard to tell when you can jump. Okay, I'm gonna get it this time. It gets kind of tricky to see because the grass is like overhanging right here, so it's a little... It's tough to tell where you can actually jump from. But I'm gonna do my best to jump at the last second. Okay, can I get this for once? Can I get this for once? Yes, I actually made it! Alright, so now we gotta... I guess let's go right past that guy. It looks like we got some kind of crazy warp right there. I don't even know what that is. Uh, can I even safely go through that? I don't know. What is that going to do to me? Did that kill me? I I think I just died. I don't know if that brought me back to the start. So I, I actually don't know. I think this is the same place. Yeah. So 
that killed me apparently. The only thing I can think of is maybe we had to kill all these guys along the way and killing all of them would actually remove that uh, barrier. So let me go back and actually kill everything and see if that was indeed the answer. Okay, so this time I've actually killed everything up until this point. So let's see if I can actually kill this one as well. And yes, indeed, that did remove the barrier right there. So now I just have to jump across and not die along the way. Come on, make it. <laughs> yes. Uh, did I make it to the next area? I didn't actually hit the warp stone right there. I think I made it. Okay, so we're safe here. Let's hit this guy. So pretty, pretty simple mechanics here, but they actually make you do some pretty clever stuff with them. And I guess we're dropping. I, wait, can I use this warp stone? Where does this take me? Uh, it takes me nowhere. <laughs> Fantastic. So I don't know what to do from here. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's see. So I can't quite jump across. Can I? No, there's no way I'm jumping across that. So I don't actually know what to do from here unless we can jump on top of this guy. Oh, which we can. So that actually helps out tremendously. I did not know we could jump on top of them. I should, probably should have tried that a long time ago. Let's see, can we push them or anything like that? No, we can't push them, so we can get on top, and that'll have to do. Oh my gosh, if only I wasn't so terrible. Oh my gosh, that changes everything. Apparently, if we hold down Control or X, that is our run button. I did not even realize that is what it was telling us to do before. So that makes all of these jumps so much easier. Oh my gosh, I am a doobie. I don't even know what a doobie is, but that's what I am. So there we go, these jumps are now suddenly very easy. All the troubles I had before were not even really actual issues. Fantastic. But juggling another button is going to be pretty tough, actually. But yeah, now I can just safely... Whoa! Uh, not so safely, actually. Jump right across. So sprint is not... It's not the answer to all of our problems, but it definitely makes things way easier. I can't even seem to make this jump, even with sprint. I can't seem to make it if I actually kill that guy. So hopefully this section does not require me to kill everything. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's just drop right here, and then I think we can drop on top of this guy. Oh my gosh, my guy just spazzed out. Let's go down here, and let's jump across, and let's get that warp stone. Boom! And it warped me to uh, my death because I forgot to shift. Gosh dang it. Shift? Unshift. Shift! There we go. Okay, let's hold down control, jump across. So this time I want to grab this. Unshift. Boom. Okay, there's the end. So it looks like, once again, I do have to kill everything. I don't even know how to make it across this area while killing everything, so I guess I'm gonna have to keep trying. So let's go ahead and try it over again. I think I might have found the answer. If we jump and go out this guy's eye, I think it actually gives us a boost, so let me try that. I was gonna like jump like that. Did that do it? It looks like that's gonna help, but I didn't quite get it there. And there we go! So yeah, you do have to jump boost off of that guy, so pretty crazy, but not too bad. Okay, we got that guy, and let's just jump across here, and let's get warp zone, unshift! Boom. We actually made it through, and this one should not be too tough. And we got it, guys! So we actually freed up this. Let's jump across. Oh my gosh, so much shifting to juggle right here, though. I think we're almost at the end, though. And yeah, we got a warp stone right here, so I guess it's gonna take us to the next area. And it looks like the game is just gonna keep progressing like this, guys. I gotta be honest with you, I think this game would be a lot more enjoyable on an actual controller. And the problem I'm having is, like, my fingers are, like, really cramping up because I have to, like, use... Shift Control and WASD and uh, all this crud all at the same time and it's really cramping my hand but I think that this would probably be not that big of a deal if you were playing on uh, a controller so I think this game was probably designed for that let's see if I can actually I think I'm gonna jump across this way and jump up like that that did not work okay let's see how if I can figure out how to do this one so I think I have to like jump and then get a boost from it and then, there we go, boom! So that was crazy! I can already see, they're probably gonna like use that, I've been saying I can already see a lot, but uh, they, they're probably going to use that for some crazy jump boost at some point in this game. So that's, that's kind of exciting, but I don't know man, the controls are so hard to get used to. I don't know if I can, if I can keep rocking this. I guess we've actually made it to like a second area though, which is kind of cool. We got some new music here and everything. But I think I'm gonna call it here pretty soon, guys. This game's pretty cool, but I don't think I have any desire to continue playing. So I hope you guys have enjoyed what you've seen so far. If you like what you've seen, go check it out. It was only two bucks, but I don't think this one is for me, guys. So anyways, I'll see you next time. Take care.